Hey guys, Andy here, and uh, today we're taking a look at the HP Omen Gaming Laptop. Now, before we continue, I want to let you know this video is brought to you by HP, but all thoughts and opinions are my own. So what we have with the Omen uh, gaming laptop, this is a 17 inch gaming laptop, weighs about 10 pounds. So this thing is heavy, it's a behemoth. And this is not for everyone. I'll just put it out there right there. But what you have with this machine is something that packs a lot of performance, some really nice style, and something that will make gamers really happy. So let's first start off with the aesthetics. You've got a lot of, of course, lighting around the laptop. You can clearly see from the very front panel of this laptop, it's lit up. You've got, of course, uh, lighting on the logo, the Omen logo, there's an X across. Now all that is customizable. You can go into the Omen command center software, customize the exterior lighting, static, color loop, change the colors whatever way you want, um, and you can actually add more flair to your laptop. You also have lighting on the keyboard and internally, and also or, or on that keyboard space with the Omen logo, the power button itself and the keyboard lighting has a lot of variants you can go through different options you can customize that that's pretty cool now the command center software allows you to add in macros so you've got macro keys on the side and you can also customize your network boost but what do you have in terms of specs now we talked about the aesthetics you've got this nice matte finish as well so that's there but what do you have in terms of performance this is powered by a uh, Intel 7th generation Quai 7 7700 HQ this is of course a quad core processor um, you've also got 16 gigs of RAM on the system right here uh, you've got a PCIe uh, NVMe um, SSD 256 gigabytes and an, an, an extra one terabyte of storage so a lot of performance there but also a GTX 1070 graphics card with 8 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, which means this thing's gonna be a performer. Now, all that is encapsulated, of course, with the performance of the display. It's a 17-inch display, as I mentioned. It's a 120 hertz refresh rate G-Sync monitor on this, so it is really, really nice. I mean, games look really good. They're crisp, they're smooth. Doesn't matter what game you're playing, it really takes advantage of that uh, on this system, which is really nice. Now, you've also got Bang Olufsen speakers built in, so which means when you're listening to music, Music or movies or audio, this sound really clear and crisp, and you should take a quick listen. Yes, HP's got a sexy gaming machine. I'm talking about the Omen X gaming desktop. It's cute. So you guys now, of course, wanted to see games. You care about gaming, this is what you get this machine for. Now, we played three games. The first game was uh, Call of Duty World War II. Ran really smooth. Frame rates were up to about 80, 90 frames per second. I mean, this thing just ran well. So just chugging through gaming, you know, killing enemies, all that kind of stuff just felt really comfortable. Also, the keyboard itself, even though it sounded a little clicky, was actually nice and easy to use. So gaming with it was actually pretty solid. Now, the next game we played, of course, was Doom, which is a high-paced game, really fast. Uh, 110 frames per second was outstanding, and it just looked good gaming with this machine. That's also really nice. Now, HP sent a bunch of accessories as well. So they sent uh, a headset, a mouse pad, and a mouse. And I have to say, for a a giant company like HP, the accessories they have here are actually pretty good. The mouse was pretty nice, I uh, felt really comfortable. The headset also gave me some really nice gaming audio. You could hear uh, footsteps and all that stuff. And the mouse pad was pretty solid. So that's something you can add in your purchase if you want to. Now the last game we checked out was The Witcher 3. Witcher 3 can task a lot of systems. We're able to get about 37 frames per second running high. That's one thing that was a little bit of a bummer, but it still ran really well. And it was able to see a lot of detail while gaming with it and also didn't get that much slowdowns on the system. So that was pretty good. I think overall, a lot of gamers will like this machine, but to let you know, if you want to actually take full advantage of it, you want to actually game with it plugged in with the power supply, or at least the power plug, because um, if you don't, all those frame rates I mentioned will be cut in half. Now, in terms of battery life, you're looking at around, if you're just basically watching video and uh, maybe browsing the web, you're looking at around four hours of battery life. This thing is not a battery life king, but in terms of gaming, you definitely want it plugged in. 
As I mentioned, this is a machine that you will use if you're taking long trips or it, you know, if you're a college student and you want something in your dorm room that does a lot of nice solid gaming. The pricing of the build I mentioned here is about 1900. There is a, a lower build um, in terms of uh, the amount of RAM that starts at about um, uh, 1500 that, that doesn't have an MVME but this is really solid I think any of the options you pick up because you've got uh, a quad core processor with the uh, Core i7 you've got also a GTX 1070 so you're gonna get a lot of gaming performance and I, I'd say I really like it but again it's for that gamer that's looking for something that has PC build performance but something that's a little bit more mobile in that respect so if you guys have any questions or any comments about the HP Omen X gaming laptop, let us know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel and click the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.